if I had to go back through it again, I'd take the same exact path. You know, it's worked out for me great. Never had a boss or an interviewer be like, oh, we need that degree. And I think it's just a mindset a lot of people have that there's one path to get somewhere. And, you know, personally, there's nothing against college. I mean, if you want to take that route, you know, take that route. To me, there's there's better options. And I think people just need to know that there's a lot more ways to get education rather than tra traditional education today. Hey, this is Seth with In-Demand Career. I show people how to get life-changing jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education. And that includes my very special guest today, Kyan, who is only 23 years old, skipped college for success, and now has a very, very successful career in digital marketing. I actually interviewed Kyan a few years ago when he was only 20 and making $40,000 a year in his first entry-level remote job. And now uh, he has actually accelerated his career much beyond that. You know, the average high school graduate makes about $34,000 a year on average, and Kyan makes more than twice that because he got skill sets that are actually in demand. He is now married. He works remotely. He has a great lifestyle. He's been able to take vacations to Hawaii, to Aspen. He's very financially comfortable. He loves what he does, and I'm very excited to share his story with you. Thanks for being here, Kyan. Yeah, happy to be here for the second time. Awesome, for sure. I'm excited to talk to you. Um, so why don't you tell people a little about your current job that you're doing right now? Yeah, so my current job, I switched from the in-house role to now I'm at an agency. Uh, my title is Growth Marketing Strategist, a uh, small agency based out of Maryland, actually, and I live in Houston, Texas, so fully remote role. And yeah, I lead a team of subject matter experts who are got paid media specialists, SEO specialists, content specialists. Uh, and I work with a lot of B2B tech companies to help them craft marketing plans. And I'm the lead strategist in that role. So got a team of specialists, make the strategies. And uh, yeah, it's a good role. It was a good change for me. And uh, yeah, it's been great so far. That's amazing, man. Let me just clarify something. How old are you again? 23, as of a couple of weeks ago. Okay, you just turned 23. And I didn't even realize this. You're a manager. You say you you are like the supervisor. You're the boss in over these uh, these specialists. Is that what you're saying? In a way, I mean, there's like a hierarchy of there's specialists on the team, and then a strategist who kind of leads the day to day. Um, not like a manager, as in like they're not, I'm not approving time off and things like that, or or like making those decisions. But uh, for day to day, I am like the lead of all the accounts. I am the the client facing person, um, and I create all the strategies and everything is approved. Uh, before it gets pushed out. So it depends on how you phrase it, not directly, but I am leading a team, you could say. Yeah. That's really what I wanted to point out, you know, especially at your age, that's incredibly, that's incredibly rare and it's impressive. Um, and um, especially compared to the fact that, as you say, a lot of your peers who are your own age are in their fourth year of college, maybe their fifth year, have never actually worked a job. Meanwhile, you're in a leadership position in your second, uh, your second job in this career path, which I think is amazing. Again, guys, I just keep pointing this out because my whole skip college for success um, sort of manifesto, if you will, is this idea that if you start young with in-demand skills, this is where you can end up when you're 23. And, and by the way, do you have any debt? No, I don't. Yeah, that's a very big deal, guys. Again, a lot of people, early 20s coming out of college, have huge amounts of debt. So you have a great income. You don't have any debt. You're in a leadership role. And that's uh, that's really incredible. So why don't you, you know, I'm going to post a link to the first interview that we did. Um, maybe you can you could briefly explain how you got your first job. But what I'm really interested in is how did you, you know, how did you go from your first job when you were 20 to this current position where you're at right now? Yeah, so brief touch up on the first job. Um, so yeah, I was 20 years old. It's a little bit ago now. But yeah, it was uh, it was also a B2B tech company that I worked at. Um, handful of interviews, if I remember right, I actually got two job offers when I got that and I leveraged it to make the first one a little bit higher pay. Um, but yeah, that one I was working for yeah manufacturing software company. Um, I was doing a little bit of everything there too, managing the WordPress site, started out doing SEO. Uh, we moved into doing a lot of ABM and paid campaigns um, and really grew into, you know, as a one man department, but taking over the marketing department at that company. So it was definitely a great spot to get in and learn. I got to get my hands on a bunch of different channels, a bunch of different campaigns. Um, 
be in a spot where there's no one above you or below you, which can be good and bad. You know, you have to learn everything firsthand, but there's also no one uh, telling you what to do and guiding you in that direction. That's what kind of led the change that I can get into. Uh, but yeah, that was the first company. And, and let me uh, let me just interject for one second and just yeah. to you know just get all the people watching on the same page. This first job you just described a lot of you know a lot of different skills, but you had just come out of the course, right? And you just spent a few months learning the basics of digital marketing, and that's when you got into the stuff. You know, you sent so you speak with confidence, so it sounds like maybe you had some experience, but really you didn't have much much experience when you got that first job, correct? Yeah, that'll be definitely detailed in the first interview. But yeah, I, I did the course. I think it was three, four months from first video on the course to landing the job. Created the WordPress site, did all the channels, or not all the channels, all the campaigns myself. And then, yeah, leverage that in the interview. Talk like it's a separate entity, really. And you just say the campaigns you've ran. And it's really what it's about. Prove you know what you're doing and, and people will, will hear that out. So it worked out that time. And uh, yeah, worked out good. For sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to point that out again, because, you know, again, people, the biggest question people always ask is, do you really not need any experience? And the answer is you do not. You just need to have a little bit of experience. And then this company, I remember it's an in-house company in Pennsylvania. They needed someone that knew what they were talking about. And you were able to, you know, kind of learn as you grew in that position, which is really fantastic. Um, it happens with a lot of my students. So, uh, so you're working at that company, and then then what happened since you know since the last interview that we did? Yeah, so I was there for I think on LinkedIn it'll say two years and eight months, something like that. And really, it was a great job, great people I worked with. Uh, I had like the autonomy to do whatever uh, whatever I wanted within reason, but to set out every different channel and software I wanted to, and got to learn a lot that way. But like I said a couple of minutes ago, my main concern was. You know, even at this young age where you can get your foot in the door, I wanted to learn a lot from people who had been in the door for 15, 20 years, whatever it is. So that's what motivated me to make a switch to the agency life I wanted to be around, or it could be a bigger team in-house too, but I wanted to do an agency role, uh, really just so I could have people, you know, 10 years ahead of me to learn from them, learn from their processes, their strategies, learn from the specialists and those experts. Uh, so that really drove the change for me to make a move to the next place. Um, and now I've been there for about three, three or four months now. So pretty fresh, but uh, it's been a good change so far. That's great, guys. Uh, that's great, Kyan. And uh, and guys, just, um, just so you're clear, an agency, for you guys who don't know anything about digital marketing, again, an agency is just like, it's a you know big company that has a lot of different clients. Um, so in-house means like you're working for a private company like you did before. It was like a, you said, some kind of manufacturing or software yeah, B two B tech, probably B two B company that does something that we don't understand, but it's like a private company, and he was their one like go to guy for all the digital marketing stuff. I had a job like that. I worked for a, a drug rehabilitation center many years ago, and I was their you know paid search guy in house. They call it um, an agency. The benefit of working in agency, as Kyan said, is that you get your, you can get your hands on a lot of different clients, which is great for learning and growing. And you can also your your, your coworkers are often a great resource. Um, you'll see a lot of my student interviews, they'll talk about how, you know, they have a senior paid search specialist or SEO specialist guiding them, mentoring them, giving them, you know, teaching them. And that's something Kyan wanted because, you know, he was the the go to guy at his company. So he, you know, he had a lot of uh, a lot of power, a lot of, um, you know, freedom and flexibility, but also there's a lot of responsibility and he didn't have anybody guiding him. So he was able to use, you know, his own uh, you know, ingenuity and research to do the job, but wanted a place where he could grow. So um, now you're at, you know, what about, I'm curious about what was the, what was it like transitioning to the new job? Because remember you're, you don't have a college degree. You're 22 years old at the time, right? Um, mm -hmm. You do have this experience. So what was it like looking for this job? Were you getting interviews? Um, you know, what, how was it when you were talking about salary? Because it sounds like your salary went up quite a bit. Yeah. So, I mean, I think once you get the first spot, you can leverage that a lot better than you can, uh, you know, a piece of paper with uh, whatever you want on it, bachelor's degree, whatever. Um, you know, of course, coming from the background, you know, with taking your course, I'm, I'm pretty firm in, in that stance. Uh, but yeah, I, I probably did at least 10, 15 different interviews before landing the next job or, or you know, picking the offer I wanted. So it was um, a few that were 
companies that were all right. And, you know, as I got into it, wanted just some interview experience again, to be honest, after a couple of years and then found a few that went well. But everyone I talked to, when I'd bring up the whole college degree thing or they'd ask the question, um, I would just give them kind of my viewpoint on the whole thing. And I think people might think it might be a roadblock, but I have never had anyone tell me like, this is the reason we wouldn't hire you. And uh, it's, you know, I give my reason. I'm I'm a few years ahead since I, I didn't go to college. I have the experience needed. You know, I've gotten my hands on a lot of things and I would, I would do it again if I had the choice. I mean, why would I want to set myself back? So it worked out good in like every interview I did. And then the company I landed at, um, of course, it went well there as well, too. But uh, the owners shared the same, same, didn't share the same view, but they heard where I was coming from. And uh, it, it made it a smooth process. Clearly, clearly, they obviously hired you. <laughs> so they didn't care yeah. about the degree. Again, we might do a separate interview on that because I just like to bring it up again and again, just until the, you know, until the consciousness of the society changes and becomes smarter about this stuff. Um, what you said is totally on point. Uh, again, these agencies really don't care about a degree. They care if you, you can help them make money, you know? Yeah, right. And so you said you went on a bunch of different interviews. I'm curious, like, why did you pick this particular company over other companies? Did you have other offers? You know, what, what was your, what were you thinking along those lines? Yeah, there were a few that I was like far along with. Uh, to be honest, I really wanted, I came from a smaller company and I wanted a company that was small enough to not be super corporate, to be honest. Um, but still an agency with, you know, a lot of really smart people and really growing. Uh, so I ended up at this place that got acquired um, about six or seven months ago now. And there's there's new ownership in and they're changing a lot of processes. And and uh, honestly, by the third interview, I met with the director of operations here and we just clicked really well. And it's you know, I've always based it off of how the, the personalities click and match in, in the interviews. And it just just went really well. So I liked everything they were standing for. I liked the direction they were going. And uh, the role was was great. I get to be client facing. I get to be a lead strategist. Um, it was a role that was requiring more years of experience than I had. You know, even at the time, switching from my first role. Uh, but they were they liked the, the what I presented. I was confident in what I said. Learned a ton in my first role, so it uh, it all went really well. Yeah, that's fantastic, man. And again, like I, if you watch the first interview. Um, I asked you, you know, you you don't really occur like a 23 year old. You didn't occur like a 20 year old at the time. You have a confident way of speaking. And you told me it's because you were doing sales when you were like 13, right? <laughs> yeah, I was family business. Yeah. yeah. I tell you guys, anybody watching this too, I, I've also met, um, I've met a lot of young entrepreneurs in my travels. And I usually ask them like, you know, if, if they seem more mature at a younger age, it's usually because they did some type of sales or leadership or speaking training could be toastmasters could be speech and debate club in school could be having a sales job something to get you used to human to human communication makes you stand out so much um and obviously that your confidence was enough to win you you know a job that where you said you didn't have like like how many years experience did they say you're supposed to have for that job for the, your current job uh, they, they wanted five plus and i remember specifically i was talking to one of the co-owners and he was telling me, he's like, it's going to be an uphill battle. And I'm like, it's all good with me. I've been there and done that before. Well, let's take it on. And, and you see how it worked out. So, yeah, you just got to, you're confident. You know what you're talking about. Um, it, yeah, like I said, it clicked well that time and it's it worked out. For sure. And how was it? Again, I don't want to give away your exact salary, but obviously you made a, a you know, you moved up. Um, how was the salary discussion? You know, were they, were you just happy with what they were offering? Did you have to do any negotiation? Yeah, I mean, I was right in the range they put. So, um, and of course, it was a role that was higher than the level I was coming in at. So, that I was, I was just honestly happy with with right away. So that way, it worked out really good. Uh, this company has been great that way. So, really, not too much of a of a of negotiating a discussion this time around. Sounds like it was just a great fit. And so what's it like working there in terms of what you wanted? Are you getting the, you know, the agency experience? Are you getting the mentorship? Are you getting your hand, you know, you know, the the growth that you wanted that you weren't getting in the previous position? Yeah, I am. Like I said, the main motivation was there was no one ahead of me that was ahead of me in a marketing sense. So, excuse me, now I got my director who's 
you know, been at this company for 10 years on top of other marketing experience, two new owners that came and acquired the company seven months ago who have, I don't know, 20, 30 years of experience and are still doing the marketing themselves. Um, and on top of that, the whole specialist team who's just, you know, really deep in their, their matter of expertise. So, and then I get to lead that team and strategize with that whole team uh, and then present that to the client. So that way it's been great. I've got to learn a ton from specialists, from people who have just been there and done that a thousand times from the whole agency kind of uh, offense that they have there and from people who have been there for longer than I've been alive. So it's been really great from that aspect. That's fantastic, man. And watch, guys, this is the creation of a boss. You know, this is how it works. And because you're also, you're already in a leadership position. Now you're you're connecting with, you know, I'm sure very high level earners with a lot of experience. And it's just going to rub off on you as you grow in your career. That's a big important thing about success too that you, you may or may not have heard about is that the people you associate with, um, which is why I, I often tell people, you know, people watching this are often starting out. I like to give an interview like this to show you what's possible in the future. When you're starting out, it's very important to stay focused, connect with the community, positive, like-minded people. Don't listen to family or friends <laughs> who are not supportive uh, because it does sound a bit strange to, you know, for, for, for Kyan to say he didn't go to college. Now he's making a great salary, remote job, leadership position, age 23. It doesn't compute with what other people out there in society are saying. So you have to be smarter than them and understand that, you know, college is not the path to success and that these skills really can lead you in a completely different direction. So uh, I think that's fantastic. What what about your personal life? So you've been talking about your professional life, but it sounds like a lot's happened in the last couple of years. What you know, what's it been like having these remote positions uh, personally? Yeah, I mean, I got to say just the remote aspect has been, I don't know if you say like life changing in a way just for that aspect alone, because yeah, I was able to get married when I was 21. Uh, I got to move from South Dakota to Texas. I'm in Houston now. Um, and everything stays the same. You know, I, I switched to my job a few months later anyway, but it makes that transition so much easier. And then going on vacation, you know, I've gone back home to visit family and just, you know, so it's work is normal. So I know there's a lot of people out there working fully remote now, but that capability in a career where I know I'll be taken care of wherever I need to go if I do need to make a change. And I've got a skill set that I can keep building on, um, and especially in this remote environment. So that aspect has been great. It just keeps a lot of doors open. Uh, you never feel tied down or stuck anywhere. So I don't think I'll ever go back to an office. I did visit my company uh, a couple months ago for the first time working in an office for about 10 hours when I flew out for a day. Just fun. But the remote thing is great. I don't think I'd ever go back to a full-time in-office job. And yeah, like I said, it just opens a lot of doors. Yeah, for sure. And what about like personally? So you're, I say you're renting in Houston and like, um, let me see, how do I want to ask? So you, you just got married. Congratulations. Or not just, it was like, what, a year ago? Almost two. It'd be two years ago in a few weeks now. Okay. And that's fantastic. And you said you've known her for a long time. Yeah, we, we knew each other like when we were way, way younger. And then uh, she actually moved to Texas when we were we were kids. So we basically met again when we were like 18, 19. But uh, yeah, we've technically known each other for a long time. That's really sweet. And uh, and do you are you like the primary breadwinner? Does does your wife work as well? Do you guys feel comfortable? Yeah, she, she works in retail sales right now. So we, we're both working. Um, but yeah, it's uh we're in a spot where, you know, she could, she has the autonomy to, to pick what she wants to do and if she wants to do anything at all, really. So it's, it's opened, uh, it's made, it's promoted flexibility in that way. Yeah. And you're the primary breadwinner, which is, yes. yeah. which is fantastic. I mean, again, for you at 23 years old to be in that position where you're also, you're able to provide, you're able to have financial stability. You probably have a nice place. Would you have a nice place in Houston? Yeah, I like it. I love where we ended up. It's been a nice area. We're up in the woodlands. It's a pretty area, nice neighborhood. Um, so yeah, it's been a great. That's fantastic, guys. I just again, I keep pointing this out because you just get, I always hear about these college grads who are like struggling and complaining about the rent and then this and with inflation, all this other stuff. And, you know, just even if, you know, just avoiding the debt alone <laughs> is such a huge win, but to then have created, you know, this kind of income and this kind of growth is is uh, is really fantastic. And 
you're comfortable, right? I mean, would you say like when it comes to finances, you feel very relaxed and, you know, you, do you have any financial stress in your life? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely like if I wasn't here taking the path I did, uh, I, I don't see another way where I'd be in a better spot. So it's uh, extremely happy with the way I went. And it's it's definitely helped things out a, a great amount. That's that's great, man. And and what is it like living in Texas versus South Dakota? Bigger. Everything's bigger in Texas. But I mean, yeah, I lived in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So I mean, a city city of about a couple hundred thousand people. Um, and now we're in Houston where, uh, you know, it's just it's a lot better for there's always new restaurants and new places and new coffee shops and new new areas to go to and professional sports and like concerts, just a whole lot more to do in cities within a couple hour drive. So it's been really great, you know, personally that way, just to explore a lot of new things and have seemingly like endless things to do. That might sound like a very South Dakota person moving to a, a bigger city, but <laughs> um, it's just been, it's been a good, good switch. Yeah. And why did you pick, I was curious because your company's based in Maryland, you're remote. Why did you pick Houston? Uh, my wife's family lives here actually. So oh. yeah, it's only about a half an hour away from them now. And uh, that that's part of it. I mean, too, we're between Phoenix and Houston just because uh, wife does not like the cold. She did not like the winter. So we were definitely going south for some reason. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to get to a place in the bigger city, less harsh winters. And uh, Houston's got honestly a, a great cost of living and a lot to do. So it's a, it was a good switch for us. That's great. Yeah. And this have you is this your going to be your first winter outside of South Dakota? This will be. Yeah. So like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing all my friends in the snow uh, this upcoming winter while I can at least being like 50 degree weather, something like that. Yeah, that's it's fun. I used to when I lived in Hawaii and even now here in Thailand, I always like to talk to my family back in upstate New York. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't compare to Thailand and Hawaii, but I'll take yeah. over some. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'll get there, man. I mean, you guys can go wherever you want now. Um, yeah, so that that's that's fantastic. Um, well, listen, man, I really appreciate you sharing uh, sharing your story with everybody. Do you do you mind if people uh, reach out to you on LinkedIn if they have any questions? Yeah, for sure. Reach out on LinkedIn. Uh, personalize the connection request, or I probably won't see it. So if you personalize it, I'll know. And yeah, feel free to reach out on LinkedIn. Yeah, and guys, that's I tell you that. I mean, I tell people this. They don't. I say like specifically like do that, and people don't do that. So this is like really good practice for following directions and standing out in professional communications. If you do want to send a connection request to somebody you don't know uh, in your field who's further ahead than you are, whether it's a hiring manager or someone like Kyan, who's, you know, an experienced alumni, personalize the connection request. <laughs> Say something. Otherwise, it just shows up as a request. We don't know anything about you. And uh, as you said, he probably won't see it. Um, so that's good advice. And yeah, I'll put I'll put your LinkedIn link below. Um, and before we, you know, before we wrap up, just is there anything you want to say to me or anybody watching the video thinking about taking the course? Yeah, I mean, definitely take the course. If I had to go back through it again, I'd take the same exact path. You know, it's worked out for me great. Never had a boss or an interviewer be like, oh, we need that degree. And I think it's just a mindset a lot of people have that there's one path to get somewhere. And, you know, personally, there's nothing against college. I mean, if you want to take that route, you know, take that route. To me, there's there's better options. And I think people just need to know that there's a lot more ways to get education rather than tra traditional education today. So super happy with the, the route I took. I'd recommend it to anyone that wants to get into marketing. And uh, yeah, if I had to do it again, I would do it again. Awesome. Glad to hear that. <laughs> uh Awesome, man. Well, I'm really happy for you. You know, I'm excited. I totally knew, you know, I think I said it in the interview. I was like very excited to see what the heck happens to you in the next two to three years because you started out age 20. Um, all you guys who were starting out. And I, t I always tell people, like, I didn't start my, my career until I was 33, I think, in digital marketing. So you're like 13 years ahead of me anyway. Um, but yeah, guys, this is what's possible. And if you are older, or you're, you know, if you're making a career change, it's 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 not too late. You know, I've interviewed, you know, like Brian's one of my students, he's like 60 or 61 now. So it's like you can do this at any age. But I like to point out that if you're in high school, you haven't gone to college yet, be inspired by these college skippers. I mean, you know, I, I'm friends with a, a former student named Karen. She's 25 now. She's, you know, six figure earner, just doing great in her career. 
never got a degree. Um, you know, by the time you're in your mid twenties, no one thinks about a degree. <laughs> it's a, it's a weird phenomenon. Like when you're like 15 to 22, it's like all people will talk about is college after you're out of college, you won't even remember it. So I think it's really future thinking to just think about skills and what's practical. Uh, and again, Kyan's a great, great example of that. So thanks again for sharing your story with us. Let's, you know, we'll keep in touch and we'll definitely do another one of these in another couple of years. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, man.